Okay. All right. Well, welcome to another episode of Slam Podcast. That's right. We have yeah. the com- Community Church of Hackleburg. Is that I say That's that right? It. Yeah. Yep. And how could Hackle? Hackel- uh, uh, Hackleburg. Hackleburg, yeah. And, and <laughs> what state is Hackleburg in? It's in the great state of Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. Hackleburg, Alabama. Uh-huh. You have yeah. to say it. it like that. Yeah, yeah you yeah. gotta have that southern draw. Uh-huh. You gotta have like a thing in your <laughs> throat. Hackleburg, Alabama. Hackleburg. Hackleburg. It's like yeah. almost your hacking. <laughs> almost, almost like you're hacking. Uh-huh. Do people make a lot of fun of the name like often? Uh, or not I do, because I'm the rival yeah. of that school. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. So you're not from Hackleburg? No, I'm from Berkeley. Me either. All right. Well, let's get names in here so people can know what's up. And I know you're very particular. So you can say your name and then tell us how it's spelled so that oh, okay. the podcast world knows. Um, It's Brooklyn with Brooklyn. two N's. Brooklyn, two N's. That's right. One at yeah. the beginning and one at the end. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It, the in end's Brooklyn. Silent. In Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn. All right. So two N's. In, uh, Brooklyn with two N's. And how old are you, Brooklyn? I'm 15, almost 16. Almost 16. Excellent. How long have you been uh, with uh, Community Church of Hackleburg? Almost a year now. Mm-hmm. Almost a year now. Awesome. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I, were you? Um, did you move to Hackleburg? Um, or you're I've just been, new to the church? Uh, I moved, or I, I didn't move to Hackleburg. But okay. Yeah, we've, you've been you've been living in Hackleburg. I live in, in Hodges, which is right next to Hackleburg. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is Hackleburg a big town? No, no, no we don't even have a red light. Yeah, <laughs> you do not have a red no. light. No, we'll, we'll, it's all, all, yes. yeah. <laughs> all you have are stop signs. Yeah, all you have are stop signs. Yep. Wow. We got one of those like uh, from the Cars movie that blinking yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have cops. We like yeah. the the uh, one of the cops there. We, he's a uh, pretty well known to everybody. Oh yeah, yeah. we love. He's a sheriff when he goes to our church. Yeah, he's kidding. He's awesome. Yeah. All right, that's all. How, how many people live in your town? Do you know? It's around. I think it's a little over a thousand. I think a little, just a little over yeah. a thousand. Yeah. Wow, that was like my college. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, yeah. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Well, when you guys get a a, a light, you're right. Let us know. I'll, we can all we'll celebrate update. for yeah. you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bomb. All right, so uh, we'll go over here. You know, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Aaron. A A R O N. Yeah, you know, A A Ron, A A Ron, A A Ron. I like that. Um, and I actually turned eighteen today. Today's my birthday. Today's yeah. your birthday? Yes. What, dude? Happy birthday! <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's why we invited you on the podcast. Actually, I knew. No, that. I begged him to. Yeah, I believe that. Turned eighteen today. Yes, sir. Jeez, you could just split right now. How do you want to use your freedom, dude? Do you even you even thought about it? Have you? <laughs> You're still seventeen in your mind. Well, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Dude. It's, 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 well, congrats, man. Thanks. Eighteen yeah. years old. And can you drive yet? Yes, sir. I, wow. Uh, I have a truck. I didn't yet. know with Hackleburg, no lights. So I don't know if you guys drive. Well, I mean, he's had to get well, two new vehicles. Yeah. And- uh, actually, uh, I can't drive my truck right now because I had to deal with it. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and then my uncle hit a uh, my uncle's mowing the grass and yeah. a rock flew into the passenger side window. So oh now it's shattered. God, so. Did. <laughs> your, your car, is it a truck? Yes, it's sir. Really it's a job. Nissan Frontier. <clears throat> All right. It's just going, you're driving to the wrong places at the wrong time, <laughs> parking in the wrong place. Well, you see, yeah. I hit the deer on the on way back from church. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, geez, Louise. I hit a deer one time <laughs> and it was a baby deer, unfortunately. Oh, oh man. It was And a- uh, we got out and uh, my buddy I was riding with cried. <laughs> he like the deer, just got out and cried. Yeah. The, deer, the deer I hit, it was a good sized doe. Was oh, it? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yours is better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> Yours ain't so bad. <laughs> but it, it <clears throat> but I have a brush guard on my truck. Okay. So the the front of the truck was pretty saved. Okay. But the set fender of it, yeah. it uh it it's almost off. Got, it's hanging on off. by a thread. Oh man. Jeez, poor truck. <laughs> yeah. Not worried about the deer, but that poor truck. Dude, we got it. They got destroyed. <laughs> 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 Sounds like uh, 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 something that happened in Hackleberry. Yeah. <laughs> like you could say you weren't running a red light. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> and see, and see I, uh, like I said, I don't live in Hackleberg. I live in Spruce Pine, and that's yeah. oh. by about 15 minutes away. Okay, okay. So, all right, just too many towns. Yeah, we pull Alabama. from a no, lot like of towns. No, like it's all like yeah. just one street. Are you guys yeah. like Southern Alabama, Middle, Northern? North. We're like Northwest, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so yeah. you're close to Tennessee. We're, yeah. we're in like that little corner of it. Got yeah. you, got you. Mm-hmm. I think the only reason I even knew Alabama existed was because I was a Tennessee Vols fan. Right. <laughs> and I was like, I knew nothing about the people there, but I just knew that we hated you. And that was basically my childhood. Yeah. I was just like, never trust Alabama. Hated it fan. whenever you, you heard Roll Tide. Yeah, yeah. You hated I can't it. stand uh-huh. that. Right. Well, that's okay, Roll Tide, though. baby. That's okay, though. That's why we're here at Slam Podcast. Forgiveness, reconciliation. God brings people together, yeah. even Tennessee fans and uh, Al- people who live in Alabama. That's how we treat yeah. it. That's how Tennessee fans treated people in Alabama. <laughs> look, you don't have to be an Alabama fan if you're just from Alabama. We look, did not like. All it. I gotta say is real time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all 
We can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> of the Slam podcast. Uh, I'm actually a Vandy fan, believe it or not, because I believe in losing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, love All that. right, so uh, introduce yourself there. Yeah, uh, my name is Brandon Benson, and I am the youth pastor at Community Church. That's right. How yeah. long have you been there? Uh, just Ooh. since January 2022. That's right. So a yeah. year and a half, mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah. And how old are you now? I just turned 27. 27. Excellent. Yeah. And then is this your first church that you've been a youth, youth pastor? Uh, I was actually a youth pastor in Tennessee, uh, in oh, okay. Cleveland, Tennessee, um, oh, for right. one year. Okay. And then I moved down to Alabama uh, last year. Excellent. So, yeah. Excellent. Has it been good? Yeah, it's, it's been it's great. Been awesome. oh, it's been great. awesome. He's he's really taught, like he talks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he talks a lot. <laughs> no, he taught us a lot. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that's too. That's too. I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, he does talk a lot. <laughs> taught a lot. That's, dude, that's really important. Education is so important. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think sometimes it does get overlooked. Mm. Biblical education with youth does get overlooked. I think yeah. it's yeah. something that even the our, the Greg Garner founded Slam. That was something that I think that he really emphasized when he, I was a, a Slam participant a long time ago was just saying like how necessary it is to educate kids in the Bible. Because I yeah. think mm. at some point yeah. you just kind of grow up, when you grow up Christian, you mm. kind of like just kind of assume you know the Bible. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So but the you, but second you someone it. asks you a question, you're just like, golly, uh, I don't yeah. know if I remember <laughs> See, who's um, Moses. You're like, you forget. You know? <laughs> See, um, That's there, really cool to hear. There's, mm-hmm. a, there's another kid in our youth group, it's, uh, her brother. Me and him, we've been like, uh, we've been speaking in the youth group too. Well, I'm actually speaking in this September. You're speaking, mm-hmm. nice. Dude. You're 18 and, years old now. Yeah, <laughs> and it, uh, well, it's 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 been changing a lot, and mm. we've like everyone's gotten closer mm-hmm. in that yeah. just a, that little group that we have. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool, man. Yeah. And uh, I, maybe we can get to know. Um, I'm, I'm gonna focus on Brandon for a second. Yeah, if that's cool. Um, what what was your journey to knowing how you wanted to become a youth pastor? What, could you maybe talk? Yeah, about I'll try that and bit? try and keep it short and sweet. There was a lot of kind of stuff that went on. Um, originally, it was kind of started. Um, you know, I grew up in the church uh, all my life, but really okay. didn't start diving really into it um, and chasing after the Lord until after I graduated high school um, and gotten a little bit into college. I uh, I really actually felt the call to missions in Asia uh, yeah. on my life and started trend and started you know going down that path and. Yeah. And I had always known that I had uh, I had felt also this this calling towards youth and everything, but just hadn't really explored that yet. Sure, sure. Um, and so, long story short, through a lot of uh, I went to the Philippines and uh, a lot of just exploring that missions. Um, it actually turned into I was talking to one of my mentors, my pastor, yeah. um, you know, and talking about how I just really have this hunger to 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 minister to the youth and everything. Yeah, and yeah. he was saying, you know, maybe Brandon, you can instead of you just doing solo mission trips. Um, around the world, you know, to fill that that calling on your life, you can take a youth group, you know, mm-hmm. or take people with you right. um, to fill the, these these mission um, needs out there. And so, um, yeah, I just really started pursuing that um, yeah. and just kind of exploring um, how I could get involved and how I could just help, you know, yeah. how I could help the youth. And yeah. uh, I found a church that was just kind of in need of, of somebody to kind of basically start a youth group. Uh, they didn't have a youth yeah. group. Mm-hmm. And uh Man, I I just fell in love. And that you was know? this one. That was Hackleberg. No, it was actually the one. The yeah, one. that had nobody at, okay. at Cleveland. Got you. Um, and then uh, Hackleberg too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, I uh, there was a job offering for uh, Hackleberg, and that was a big move, big yeah. decision for me. Sure. Yeah. Um, to to leave my family in Cleveland and go yeah. to a state I've never been to before, yeah, but. Yeah. Man, I've gotten down to Hackleberry. I've just, I've just loved it. Man, yeah, just, praise the Lord. Yeah. That's that's, that's mm. one of it's difficult to move. Yeah, yeah to make a big is. move like that, even to mm-hmm. build and develop relationships and friendships. And yeah, it's very much kind of like an Abraham thing. God telling you to go and not really knowing right. what it's like, but you're moving in faith, and God rewards you yeah. with that and takes care of you. Um, you. Well, let's talk about a little bit about what your uh, Slam Week has been, how it's been, and um, I guess we can focus on. You guys want to talk about today's uh, sure. yeah. service project? Yeah, yeah. that'll be good. Um, uh, we'll go with you, Brooklyn. A little bit. What did you guys do today? Uh, we were at the branch. The branch. That's yes, right. we mm-hmm. packaged food <laughs> yeah. and was getting all ready to give out to people. Yeah, it's cool. Mm-hmm. Have you ever done something like that before? Honestly, no. No, never done anything no. like that before. Mm-hmm. Do you guys? Do you know of a lot of uh, ministries like that back at home? Um, do, do anything like that? Because what you guys are doing at the branch, you're pack you're packing up food. That's uh, uh it's actual meals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that mm-hmm. right? And those yeah. meals are being handed <clears throat> to. Uh, specifically aimed yeah. at the homeless, is mm-hmm. that right? Yeah, There's, yeah, families in need. And some, today was actually senior citizens. Yeah, was um, it? Wednesdays. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's um, great. Mm-hmm. And did you do that? Is there more that's happening at the branch, or was it mostly just? Uh, I know on Monday we had some where we even handed them out while people showed up. 
people came and were handing them some food and things like that. Today was just putting the meals together. Yeah, yeah. it was, more, it was, it was, it was more like organizing and just yeah. handing it out. It was yeah. getting and, it prepared for yeah. people. Yeah. And there were people that were driving up in, in cars to, and then we'd roll the buggies out basically to them and oh, load yeah, up their really? car. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so they would be, they would come out there mm -hmm. and then they would deliver it. Yeah. Something like that. Yep. Yep. That's really yeah. cool. What do you guys do a lot of service work back at home? Um, uh, actually, where I go to school at, yeah. which is like maybe. 20 minutes away from Hodges. Uh -huh. uh, my school, some of our teachers helped out and uh, people who can't afford groceries yeah, or, yeah. you know, food. Yeah. Uh, we, like, package them, put them in boxes and yeah. we give them out. Like, yeah. every... Yeah, that's what, what a great work, right? Oh, yeah. yeah that's it's what it's really, like, you get to see how much you're helping people. Yeah, yeah for it's, sure. It's a, it's a wonderful work. It's wonderful. Yeah. It blesses, it obviously blesses people who are receiving those those things. And I do think of that passage in Acts where it says you're, you're more blessed to give. Mm. than you are to, to receive yep and there is something to that 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 it's it's cleansing to the soul <laughs> when you participate in work that is giving to others specifically others in need yep and i oh, think you guys are even feeling yeah. that this week yeah yep. most mm. likely something along those lines right um do you guys go to the same school uh, no. no no you just graduated <laughs> uh no sir you're i'm graduating this year actually yeah. you're gonna be an 18 year old your whole senior year Yes, Where you go, dude? You're gonna walk around like a boss. Dude. What are you gonna be doing? Just... Actually, well, actually, the oldest that in my grade is a 19 year old. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yes, oh, wow. Sir. Wow. She was. Well, she was also uh, started late. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I was actually 18 through my entire senior year. Oh well. wow! My parents yeah. held me back in first grade. I, I was too smart. And they're like, <laughs> you're embarrassing everyone. That's how it happens. Well, so you know? we're just going to hold you back. Well, well so like, no, you know, most, of the, most of the kids in my grade, they're, they were supposed to be in the same grade as like ab above. Yeah. So we're, most of us all supposed to be graduated. Yeah. So most of us are is, is going to be uh, 18. Got you. Got you. What kind of stuff do you guys do at school? Do you guys participate? You guys like hobbies? Or you guys oh, play? I play a lot of sports. Yeah. So what, do you, play. what do you play? Um, we'll come I'm, to you. We'll come yeah, to you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. My main sports basketball. Your main sports basketball. I'm five ten, so like, oh, it kind of it kind of works out. Just a little flex right there. People, you... Oh yeah, I'm a rebounder. You're a rebounder. Yeah. Do like, you get like aggressive? Like, what's your attitude when you get on the court? I get a little aggressive. Yeah. Oh my god, you're like hiding something. When you get that I, I one can be all mean. Your, your town a little. Is just like you got to keep an eye on. Brooklyn hey, we win that. the games. That's all yeah, that's, that matters. Yeah. There you go. Have you ever fouled out? Yeah. yeah. You have the record for the most foul outs. Is that what it is? I, I, I'm up there. Yeah. You're up there? Wait, yeah. That's not a bad record. I got a team. You're like Charles Barkley down there. Dude. You're just like, do you swing the elbows a lot? Do you do yeah. a lot of that? Yeah, a lot Take of elbows, ball. a lot of fists. A lot of, a lot of fists. <laughs> Man, oh dude, my we, need to, so, we need to go out there and film this. <laughs> oh my Please gosh. don't. My parents don't, my parents don't go for a reason. Uh, okay. <laughs> for a reason. Yeah, don't go for a reason. Yeah. My mom and dad, when I was like Seven in a basketball got kicked out of a basketball game. <laughs> wow! My, my, my parents, my parents are get, they get into it. They dude. really love their children. Oh yeah, yeah. Even now I'm 41 years old, and if I played just a pickup game and asked my mom and dad to come, <laughs> they would likely get kicked out just by the players I'm hanging out with. Yeah, because they'd be like, "You're this is too much. This is yeah. I can't <laughs> handle this." Yeah, yeah. Oh, girls get super aggressive. It's do crazy. They? Do they? Oh yeah. Wow. So you said basketball. You have other ones? Uh, I play uh, a little bit of softball. A little I'm doing bit of softball. Pretty good. Excellent. But our school is pretty small, so we don't have any volleyball or anything like that. Oh, okay. Like got that. you. But basketball. But also track, yeah. Track. And also track. Wow. So you stay busy. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, Where yeah. Where'd you go, Brooklyn? Oh, yeah. I'm a cheerleader now. Yeah. So. And a cheerleader. Oh. <laughs> so you're like getting rebounds, and then when they go up halftime, you're just like doing the dances? Oh, yeah. Like mm -hmm. mid-game? Oh, yeah. I get my palm palm so my chest. Yeah. <laughs> you, if you don't do this, you a thousand percent should do this. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking about it. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, you should. That would be, I, don't know any, I don't know if anyone's ever done that. You're a player. And then anytime there's a cheer, the player goes over to the cheer leader section oh, no, 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 and no. cheers. I know a girl and she's on the cheer team and she also is in band. Yeah. And on every Friday night, she would cheer, okay. run up the bleachers, yeah. do her saxophone, okay. come back down. Do cheer. cheer. It was it was wow. so bad. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's I can never really. Yeah, That's that, a talent yeah. right there. That is a yeah. talent. Oh yeah. And she's good at the saxophone. Oh very. Yes. Because that'd be terrible if she was terrible. At the saxophone. <laughs> she's probably just out of breath. It just, but... yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why she can play so well. She's just breathing so heavy <laughs> running up those stairs. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. So Aaron, what do you do then? You we can do take guess of what I play. 
Football? Is that yes, what you're sir. Football? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. I'm, a, a, I'm a left tackle and uh, right the end. All right. And it's legal to play football as an 18-year-old in high school. That's illegal? <laughs> well, they don't I guess I did it, too. So if, I they, if, they, if they don't, like you don't know. Age. You know, you're not playing. Actually, you're playing against the children now. You're an adult now. You know? You're 18. You're an adult playing against little <laughs> kids charges. now. Jeez. So well, I'm about to mess them well, up. <laughs> I mean, uh, actually, um, I also play track too. I yeah. throw. I throw. I don't run. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I throw discus and shot put. Okay. But my like like uh, I I love football. Yeah. I play football all my life. And what do you? What position do you play? Left tackle and yeah. right. Oh, DM, left tackle. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You said it already. Yeah. All yes, right, sir. man. You ain't gonna uh, me feel bad. About I, I'm sorry. Jeez, <laughs> please. Uh, I thought you, I thought you heard me. I'm but. handling the podcast. <laughs> right. It's not enough. Oh, um, but uh, um, like what everyone says, I protect the uh quarterback's bond side yeah because our quarterback he's right-handed yeah. so yeah um and actually this past uh this past season um in, in uh defense i got like 12 tackles one sack and two yeah. fumble recoveries so that wow. was pretty that was pretty good that's pretty awesome. dope uh, dude way that. to go man excellent <laughs> job i'm excited for what the season will look like then yeah oh when you get back from this you probably start right into practices right Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, our yeah. first practice is actually July 31st. And, well, okay. we did have a coach, but he had to leave for a different uh, job because oh, okay. the, it, it wasn't his fault. Um, sure. But he but he, uh, <laughs> but he, he got put us into a, like, a really good workout program. Oh, and okay. all, all of the – even the JV uh, boys, they yeah. are like – they were pushing heavyweight. Really? So I think we're going to be really good this year. Pretty good. Gonna, yeah. Nice, dude. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So to maybe close out this podcast, maybe um, I put you all on the spot, but – this is a slam podcast and we do want people to know about slam and we like mm-hmm. people to kind of like talk about their experience of being with slam and stuff so far. And so maybe you guys could say something that you're like, I've learned this so far slam or here's something I've really loved so far being part of slam. I know it's, yeah. it's Wednesday. Yes, is sir. That right. Oh, yeah. wow. These it's days kind of always blend, right? Yeah. It feels like Monday night is just like, Oh my, I, if we, if you oh, all was at sure. our church, yeah. you, you would hear something crazy. <laughs> Uh, it's we what would hear it's, something crazy. It's what it's what me and him do every Wednesday. It's, it's, yeah, it's Wednesday. everybody. It's like every Wednesday. Wednesday. He'll, 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 he'll grab his guitar and he'll say, okay. "It's Wednesday." It's Wednesday. <laughs> get it's so, it's, yeah, get everybody yeah. hyped up for well, being at church. Main person because <laughs> no one else wants to do it. So. Yeah, yeah. you do it. seem like you'd be a hype. Right, like, I, I really guy. am. There's Pe- definitely no off button. Pe- yeah, there is not. No, yeah, people people say I'm shy, but when they get to know me, they're like, "God, you're so annoying." That's crazy. As my the opposite of shy. Uh, yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Excellent. I'm outgoing. So, um, well, I know you guys. It's Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, what What's something that you've like that stood out to you about being with Slam this week, or um, uh, even the, something that you've been learning? The The new songs, I, like the yeah, we have I learned. wanted to say something about yeah. that. Awesome. Like, like last night, the uh, the Spanish songs. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That, that was. Oh, I love I'm that. Like, that was we were at, amazing. We're having a good time with it, and, oh, awesome. and how. And like the songs we knew, yeah. and how they did play differently. They put it their was, yeah, they put their own little taste. Yeah, it was it. really good. Yeah, like uh, that's it? that's the oh yeah, yeah, that was so the cool. best part of it. Yeah, I liked yeah. it so much. You guys really like worship. I can tell. Oh, I yeah, love worship. I think I even saw you at one point yesterday when it was over. You like went over to Brandon and like high fived him. Was like, <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> I was like, I was having so much fun. I was like, yeah, dude, I love that man. That means so much. Yeah, so much. Um, I didn't want to cut anybody else off. Anybody wanted to say anything else before we closed it. I mean, still speaking about the worship, it yeah. also like, uh, and kind of, I was talking to Pastor Brandon about this. Yeah. Like, even if you don't know the song, and even yeah. if you know you you don't feel like you're feeling it, mm. you could still just sit there and worship mm. them. Yeah, yep. that's right. And because like, like I, there's a song that I just love, and, yeah. and like the lyric is like, like let worship be more than just singing. Mm. Like yeah. it's it's yeah. became a religious thing yeah. connected to uh worship and that's wow. a good thing but yeah. you can just sit there in his presence and just mm. thank him for all the wonderful things yeah. he's done in your life yeah, yeah that was very well said brooklyn yeah. i could end on that yeah that was, that was really good. good that was really good seriously <laughs> but also the, also the, the projects yeah, yeah those yeah. are really good too I yeah love them. oh yeah you're making you're meeting real needs mm-hmm. uh, Amen. and i think that's 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 really wonderful see well yesterday we, we did around the campus yeah and well it was hot but today we mm-hmm. actually got to interact with some of the some of the people yeah and it was yeah it was good that's great yeah man. yeah cool well we only we get today we got our session tonight and then two mm-hmm. more days with you guys i'm very excited to see all the things we God's going to do and um, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm so excited you guys are here brooklyn Aaron, Brandon, thank yeah. you guys so much. Absolutely. Of course, You're welcome. Thank yeah. you. Thank you guys. Welcome. See ya. Slam pod. <laughs>